Although Elmer Ellsworth is not a well-known figure today outside of Alexandria, in the 1860s, his was practically a household name. The dashing leader of an elaborate acrobatic drill team and friend to Abraham Lincoln, Ellsworth was the first United States officer to be killed in the Civil War. Ellsworth was born in 1837 near Saratoga Springs, New York, and fascinated by the military from an early age, to include listening to his great-grandfather's stories of the Revolutionary War. Ellsworth liked to both draw soldiers and play soldiers. At the age of 17, in 1854, Ellsworth went west to Chicago to find his fortune. He eventually became a law student and clerk, ultimately going to work in Abraham Lincoln's Springfield, Illinois Law Office. He also became the drill master for the U.S. Zouav cadets. Zouavs were originally Algerian troops who fought under the French army in North Africa. They wore elaborate Ottoman-style uniforms and engaged in highly specialized and physically strenuous maneuvers, including the ability to load and fire a gun while running. Under Ellsworth's command, the Zouav cadets won a national championship as the best drilled military company, and they and their debonair leader gained nationwide fame. In his day job, he studied law in Lincoln's law office and then campaigned for Lincoln for president, ultimately supervising security operations for the president-elect as Lincoln made his way to Washington, D.C. and his presidential inauguration. Ellsworth also became a family friend, and Lincoln once described Ellsworth as the greatest little man I ever met. When the Civil War broke out, Ellsworth organized a regiment of Zouavs from New York City's fire departments. Who better to recruit to live up to the nimble and vigorous reputation of the original Zouavs? Known as the 11th New York Volunteers, and also as the first fire Zouavs, they would be among the first Union forces to land in Alexandria, Virginia, the day after Virginia seceded from the United States. At this time, the Marshall House Hotel on King Street was being managed by James Jackson. Upon Lincoln's presidential nomination, Jackson had become a fervent secessionist. As such, Jackson was flying a Stars and Bars version of the Confederate flag over the Marshall House when Ellsworth arrived in Alexandria on May 24, 1861. He decided that the first thing he was going to do was to take down that flag. This did not go well. He did get the flag, but as Ellsworth made his way back down the stairs, flag gripped in his hands, Jackson met Ellsworth on the third landing of the staircase with a double-barreled shotgun. Jackson shot Ellsworth in the chest, killing him. Jackson was immediately shot in the head by one of Ellsworth's Zouavs, and both men lay dead. Colonel Elmer Ellsworth was just 24 years old. His funeral was held in the East Room of the White House and attended by both the President and Mrs. Lincoln. Poems and songs were written about him, Union enlistment numbers rose, and souvenir envelopes were printed declaring, Remember Ellsworth! And, of course, Fort Ellsworth on Shooter's Hill in Alexandria was named in his memory. Thanks so much for joining me to learn more about the death of Colonel Elmer Ellsworth at the beginning of the Civil War, right here at what used to be the Marshall House in Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. You can see more of my videos on my YouTube channel, or you can also learn about my in-person tours in both Alexandria and Washington, D.C. by visiting my website, DawnTheTourGuide.com. I'm Dawn the Tour Guide. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.